Hello everybody, welcome back to Nervous Reviews, and today we are going to be reviewing the uh, sci-fi, I believe, or uh, something else novel called Prodigy, the uh, second book in the Legend Trilogy, or not Legend Trilogy anymore, we have the next book, Rebel, uh, which I don't intend to get to actually. So, what's the story about this? Uh, I really read the, I read the first book a long, long time ago, I didn't enjoy it, I think I gave it a two stars, and then uh, I asked my sister Ayer uh, to read Hobbit, so she agreed, and so in, in, in doing that I agreed to also read Legend, because Legend is one of our favorite series, and uh, I finished uh, the first book, again, and I rated one star and this book i've also rated one star so uh i don't hate me don't hate me there's a lot of things that i want to go through with this book but it is going to be a fairly short review i went into more detail with the legend book uh, in a previous review if you want to see that i gave many examples of why i thought it was a one star book but this book i also thought was a one star book although it was clearly an uh increase like a better book than the last one first things first the writing is uh significantly better so in the last book we saw a lot of cringy dialogue or not just dialogue just cringy prose in general and i gave you a couple of examples in that and you can really tell with that book that when she wrote this book when she was 14 she kind of like was really cringy obviously we're all cringy at 14 but at that point she finished it and then she kind of sent it off eventually she eventually got it published and while it was being published she had somebody else edit it now how i feel that went was that the editing process cut out a bunch of stuff but was not allowed to create stuff so in that circumstance you would not be able to create alternate material that would make the cringy material less cringy if that makes any sense so they had to keep in the cringy parts and even though they were so cringy they were so cringy they hurt me so much um they were able to you know make it a kind of like a functional book a actually functional book now this doesn't have that problem this i think this was written significantly later and so we have a lot less cringy dialogue thing is we still have cringy dialogue it's kind of like a staple of the ya genre to have cringy dialogue so we kind of have cringy dialogue but that's okay i can i can look past that because the story is a lot more interesting to me at the time of me recording this it's actually during the quarantine almost towards the middle of the quarantine i believe this is more than a month after i've read this book so telling you from this point of view i really don't remember that much from this book in plot wise actually I do remember the specific things, but plot-wise, uh, I know a couple of things, and I did find a couple of things very memorable, and I thought they were very smart to put in, but the vast majority of this book feels like very uh, forgettable stuff. We feel like at the beginning uh, of, of the beginning of Legend, we have this sort of promise that we're going to overthrow the Empire. That's kind of the goal, and I originally thought that would be the end of the Legend book. Uh, that's not the case at all. We kind of like didn't even go in that direction whatsoever, and then when we get into this book, we kind of touch on that, and I feel like this book being the second book in the series out of three originally planned this should go a little bit further than that you know like don't just touch on the main plot line go through and like destroy the main plot line like go into it but we don't get that which is very funny there are a couple memorable parts in this book and i do remember a couple of them i do find the engaging uh change of uh how do you say change of setting without toiling too much the change of setting very interesting it was a very interesting change from the original part uh, but i do find the fact that they were kind of like alternating between the settings a little bit too weird it's like okay well you showed up and then you immediately went back it's like what what's the point of it then you kind of just explored it for a little bit i feel like there's better ways to explore that kind of plot line or whatever details you're trying to explore uh, in a different way that just makes it a little bit quicker a little bit more streamlined but you know it was a very bit uh you know just kind of flip-flop back and forth towards different places in this book and although that didn't really bother me too much it did feel kind of weird while i was reading it because i did read it very very slowly I still hate the characters. The characters are absolutely atrocious. I could not stand either of them, uh, especially the main one. What's her name? June? June is awful. June is so bad. June makes me cringe so hard because she's like 12 years old. She's not 12, she's like 16 or something, but she's basically 12 years old. And it, it, it's like, what? Why is she like this? She's so dumb. I thought she was smart. And we do have a couple of scenes of her just being smart. I think that was handled better than the last book because in the last book it was really cringy. Here it's just kind of off-putting, but it, it's still like, it's off-putting in a cringy way, but still, yeah, it's an improvement. But all in all, June is just as annoying as she always was. She's just, uh, she's just a smart girl that's not actually smart. Uh, and we do have, I, I don't know if it's in this scene or in the next scene or next book, uh, but we do have, uh, I'll mention the next book just in case, but we do have a bunch of scenes where she is trying to be really, really smart. And I just think that's so stupid. That's so dumb. Why are you like this? Do you know what really, really grinded my gears or ground, I don't know how to say it, whatever, like my gears, it was the end. Uh, not because it was bad, but because it, it was unnaturally good. Why was the ending so good? Why was the ending making me tear up? 
what what was that the fact that i have no emotional connection at all to either of the characters perhaps no i don't even have to do i'm not going to say that i have no emotional uh, em thing with any of the characters except for tess tess is kind of cool tess is like the only reasonable character here and despite that the ending made me tear up because it was such a like a real like a, we have this kind of fantasy going on we see these touchstones of a uh, really gritty reality going through and it's very interesting to see that i think that's a very original part of these YA books that's that's one of the reasons i do enjoy them but we do also have at the end this great like really gritty realistic part of this really sad sad moment and i dude that was so great it was fantastic i really enjoyed the ending of that um it, i i can't say the same about the next book's ending but for this book the ending was really like it didn't go for the most powerful hard-hitting ending of all time but it just go for just this one jab and that jab worked and i'm very very glad that she did attempt it because it very much paid off it was the biggest reason i was so quick to pick up the next book because i very much did enjoy the ending of this book i think it was a very smart ending and a a, a way better ending than I could have expected from the previous book. So all in all, it is an improvement from the one star legend, but it is still a one star. Unfortunately, uh, I, I do. So I don't know how I can explain my ratings. I guess I'll do a rating video eventually. But uh, just just to put it out there, re the one star rating is not a bad rating. It's it just means that it's average, at least at best it's average. And that's kind of where I put this. I think it's an average book. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button down below or subscribe. If you hated the fact that I trashed on this book in the previous book, leave a dislike also tell me why you left a dislike because i'm very much interested in talking to you about these books these are very interesting right i didn't expect to ever go into these books so uh if you want to go ahead and check out my channel as well i do a lot of fantasy reviews and a lot of stuff like that so if you do enjoy that kind of material go ahead and subscribe also, you can follow me on Goodreads. My link is in the description. You can see what books I'm reading currently because these videos come out way after I actually finish reading the book. So you can get ahead in like knowing what my thoughts are, I guess. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be uploading the champion review very soon. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.